Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ty with Montana Outlaw Barbecue. Welcome to our YouTube channel where we're going to show you how to elevate your cooking game. Today we're going to be talking about boneless ribeye cap. All right, guys, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab our Snake River Farm boneless ribeye cap out. Bring it over here, get it ready to prep. All right, so we're back from the fridge. We've got our cutout that we're gonna to use today. It's a Snake River Farms boneless ribeye cap. We use Snake River Farms because they are consistent in their product, which means they always have product available. They have consistency within the product, which means that we're always gonna get a consistent flavor and cook time out of these products. The other reason is, is they have diversity in their, in their product available on their website, which means we can cook a lot of different meals with what they have available. And one last thing I wanna hit on is the marbling that you'll get from a Snake River Farms product as part of that consistency. You can see right here all those little white lines. That's a soft fat that's gonna cook out and it's gonna make an amazing flavor. All right, so we've got our cut out of the cryovac. Now it's time to trim it up a little bit and season it. I do wanna to touch real quick again on this marbling. That's the type of consistency you're gonna get out of a Snake River Farm product. One of the big reasons why we use it. With that though, in this cut particular, there's some of this hard fats left. We wanna make sure we clean that up because that is not gonna break down during our cooking process. And so if we can clean some of that up, we're gonna overall have a better um, cut of meat at the end on our finished product. So we'll just take and trim that up, working with the grain and trimming some of that harder fat off. And when we get to the seasoning portions of this, we like to use seasonings that play well with beef. So lots of salt, pepper, garlic, paprika. We take off some of that. And we want to make sure that we try and keep this product as, as thick as possible from, from end to end. That way we get a good consistency in our cook. We don't have overdone stuff on the outside while the inside's a little, little pink and raw still. And so now that we've got it trimmed up, we're happy with that. We're going to go ahead and hit it with our seasoning. Today we're going to be using the Montana Outlaw Beef Rub. Uh, it's going to play really well with this cut. It's like I say, it's heavy in those salt, pepper, garlics. With this cut, it's, it's pretty thin cut, it's treated like a steak. So we're not gonna over season this one because if we over season it, um, you're gonna have, you're not gonna allow this meat to really shine through. So we're gonna hold our product five to six inches above the meat and we're just gonna go really light coats back and forth. The stuff that falls off, we'll utilize that in a minute. And that's about all the seasoning we're gonna want on this side. We're gonna go ahead and pat this in. And the reason we wanna pat it in is so that the the rub has a better chance to get in and penetrate the meat a little bit, and it's gonna help with that interaction. From here, it needs to rest for 10 to 15 minutes, and we do all these steps so that the meat can be the star of the show. That's really what we're after, is we wanna showcase this cut of meat. So now that we're in our rest period, it'd be a perfect time to step outside, start up however, start up whatever it is that you're gonna cook on. We're gonna use a Traeger today, so we're gonna go ahead and fire that up. Let this rest again a 15 to 20 minutes rest time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fire up our Traeger now. This is an Ironwood 885 that we cook on. Nice digital display you see, we really like that. It helps consistently cook for us. Run this up to 275 degrees, hit ignite. Go crack open your favorite cocktail because we're gonna let the grill do the work. All right, so we've got our Traeger, it's all warmed up. We're really excited to get this cut of meat on so we can get to eating it. So let's go ahead and put it on. Two hundred seventy-five degrees. We're looking at a cook time of twenty to twenty-five minutes on this. The key is we do not want to overcook that cut. All right. So what we want to make sure is we want to check the temperature on this cut. We do not want to overcook it. So we're looking for somewhere between 135 and 140. You can see we're right there. We got our veggies going in the background. It's gonna make a nice little uh, fire roasted veggie side dish to go with it. So we're just about to pull this out, let it rest for 10 or so minutes, gonna continue to rise without overcooking that cut. All right, so our steak's done. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. 
gonna set it right here. You see that nice color that that uh, Montana Outlaw rub puts on there. And now we're just gonna let it rest, continue to rise, and it'll hit a perfect medium rare. We're gonna do a little side dish. We did some fire roasted veggies. It's just gonna make a really nice, kind of light, refreshing side dish to go with a steak. Just dice it up. Doesn't need to be very fine. Good, good coarse chunks. Use, feel free to use whatever vegetables you want. Today we use tomatoes and red pepper and yellow pepper. You can do jalapeno, poblanos. If you wanted to get real creative, you could toast some basil, a little feta cheese over the top, a little mozzarella, a little play on a, like a fire roasted caprese salad. What cooking does for this vegetable is it's gonna take away some of the bitterness, really bring out the sugars of the vegetable so you get a sweeter. That's why something like a balsamic vinegar that has that tartness will pair very nicely with this. All right, that's ready to plate. Okay, so our steak has rested for the appropriate 10 to 15 minutes. So the next thing and only thing left to do now is slice it and enjoy it. So when we slice it, you pick it up, you can see two things. One, just how juicy it is. You can see how tender it is but we can see the grain of the meat is running this way. So we wanna cut against that grain, so we wanna bring our knife in and do our slices that way. The reason we do that is because we have connective tissues in there, and if we slice it this way, it gives it a good break point. It's much more tender that way, much more enjoyable for our guests. And you can see what I mean by those connective tissues. So we're gonna do about pencil thick slices you can see the way that's coming out, man. I mean, I'm gonna hold it up and show you this. Look at that perfect cook temp. That's right in that medium to medium rare. And you can just see the juice coming out of that. Perfectly cooked, perfectly tender. I can't wait to enjoy this. As a matter of fact, before we even plate it, I can't wait anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and get in on one of these, this end cut. You can see how easy that comes apart, super tender. Man, oh man, I mean, if you ever have a chance to cook this steak this way, your guests will enjoy it. I know I'm gonna enjoy it. The sweetness and the pepper and our rub, a little bit of sugar that's there really plays well really allows the meat to be the star. Thanks everybody for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it just as much as I did. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the bell, hit the like button, leave your comment below on what you think we should do in the future. Also check out all our other social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram, where we'll be posting drinks, cocktail recipes more frequently. Make sure you check out our website where you can get our product and uh, come along with us because we look forward to a great 2021. We will see you next time on the Montana Outlaw Barbecue Channel.